Right, hello, welcome to another video of mine. As you can see from the title, this is some arcade conversions for the BBC Home Micro. Now, the 8 bits may have died as a commercial thing a long, long time ago, probably the best part of 30 years, but they're still a really, really vibrant um, sort of homebrew scene, you know, on all the machines, especially the C64 Spectrum, Amstrad Atari. This is the first collection of new games that I've seen released for the BBC Micro. Now all these games, there's 10 in total, they're all conversions of classic arcade games. They were all written by a chap who goes by the name of Richard Broadhurst. Now I've never played any of these at all, so what I'm going to do is play one game of each one. And what I'll probably do, just to make it interesting, I will have a little shot of the, uh, I'll put a little video of the arcade version running at the top corner just so you can kind of see how authentic it is. Like I said, I've never actually loaded these ones up yet, so let's uh, crack on. So I'm obviously using an emulator for this because it makes uh, it makes recording these videos much easier. So to kick things off, we're going to be playing Carnival. Now I think this was released by Sega. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. So ZX and fire. It's a fairly basic game, Carnival. You just shoot stuff. You've only got a certain number of uh, bullets, so you've got to try and get the best score you can with the, the number of bullets. <laughs> now I have played Carnival in MAME and from memory this feels pretty damn accurate. You can see there, you've got a finite number of bullets. It's actually a nice little game, this. Yeah, there might not be anything that actually attacks you. But it's a fun game, nevertheless. I'm trying to remember, can you shoot the pipes or something? Ah, there we go, yeah, you can. Game over. Ah, right, I've ran out of bullets. So anyway, yeah, that is Carnival. Like I said, I've put a little video of the arcade one running next to it. So next up, let's see, is Frogger. So let's go into File, Run Disk, Frogger. Got to see, I love the vi vibrancy of uh, BBC games. Really, I love the, the purple colour, they really look nice. Let's see if it will play with the joystick. Right, for some reason. How do we. Wow. This is pretty damn good. Maybe I'm, I'm just trying to. How do we move forwards? I wasn't paying attention. Let me reload this one again, hang on. Run disk, Frogger. Yeah, it always helps to actually pay attention and look at keys. Keyboard layout. Like cursor keys it says. Ah, right, okay, so is it up? That's much better. I'll tell you right now, this is an, a very, very, very good 
conversion of Frogger. Graphically, sound wise. Ah, oh, bollocks. <laughs> Carried away a wee bit there. This is superb. Ah, come on, that wasn't... I was still in the log there, never mind. Hey, wee bonus for eating them off. Enjoying this version so much, I'm going to try and complete the second level. <laughs> right, you can't get too near the uh, the edge. Oh, that was close. Pick up the little uh, female frog. Get the hardest one at the road. I've got to say, this is probably, possibly the best home version of Frogger I've played. Super responsive, I mean it really does, you would be hard pushed to tell the difference between this and the arcade one. Right, okay, I could keep playing this, that is Frogger, that is excellent. Right, next up. C is run disc is Astro Blaster. Incorrect disc type selected. I don't know what it's. Alright, okay, we're in. We're in! Uh, can we use right ZX left and right fire? Shift. Haha, <laughs> excellent, it's even got. Right, it's just crashed. Why did it crash? I'm not quite sure why it crashed. Check files before copying them. I'm not quite sure what it's, what it's doing. Press return. Ah, here we go. <laughs> now from memory, this is pretty damn good. This wasn't the game I was thought it was. What's the one I put, like Astro Fighter? I think it is. Yeah. But I have played this this particular game, and this is a very, very, very good version. Right, I'm not quite sure. I just I tried. I pressed the warp button. All I seem to do is slow up the enemies, but I couldn't actually fire, so I'm not quite sure what the, the point of that was. Ah, right, my uh, my gun is overheated. You've got to keep an eye on the temperature. 
And he goes into pink. You can't shoot. This is a very, very early shoot em up. But it was quite an interesting one because obviously it had different enemies. I mean, it's got speech as well. You know, what is there not to like? That is fantastic. That's Astro Blaster. Right, let's crack on. We've got about another six to go, I think. Run this so you can see what other ones we've got. Right, next up, Space Invaders. I'm looking forward to seeing how this one works and how it looks. ZX and Return to Fire. <laughs> it's even got a little like, upside down Y. Fantastic. Wow. You know what? Absolutely, 10 out of 10. What a blinding conversion. Sound is obviously a little odd. The thing is, the Space Invaders in the arcade, I think, was it a sample or maybe it's just a meme? It was a sample. But this, this is, this is awesome. I get really, really excited when I see games like this that are, you know, considering we're playing it on hardware which is 30 years old. If this game had been released back in, I don't know, 1979, I know the BBC wasn't out by then, at that point, it would have blown people's minds because you've got, you've got an arcade perfect, you've got the arcade machine. Let's try and take out the UFO. Right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop playing this now. I do play quite a bit of Space Invaders, and I can honestly vouch that this is as good as you're gonna get. Again, I'm gonna stick my neck out and say it's possibly the best version, home version of Space Invaders, the most authentic version. Fantastic. Right, that's Space Invaders. Let's move on. Run Disc Circus. Now, is this the one I'm thinking it is? Or is this the one where you're bouncing on a trampoline? Can't remember. Right, I don't remember this game. <laughs> right, I don't know how to even start this one. Ah, right, you can even, you've got to put, put five in to put a coin in. So they've even replicated that, right? I've got no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Let me reset it. So I can look at the, uh, circus. Right, press five to insert credit and hit fire one or two for one player. Use the joystick to move the seesaw. Right, let's, in fact, now, nah, for some strange reason, the joystick movement isn't working. So, there doesn't appear to be... You can't use keys. Hmm. Right, five for a coin and one to start. 
Ah, right, okay. Right, for some reason the joystick moves rather erratically. <laughs> right, this is very, very difficult. We'll give it one more go, but I think I'm going to have to abandon this one. Now, I'm hoping that is... I'm hoping that is his arm extended in front of him, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it looks rather suspect. Ah! Bugger. Right, okay, we're going to have to abandon that one. I can't verify how authentic that one is. <laughs> Probably I should have left the demo on, actually. Gives you a better indication of the game. Right, okay, that is Circus. The next one is Ripcord, I think. There we go, Ripcord. I'm looking forward to Phoenix coming up. Exodus, 1979. Right, use joystick for drift control. So again, you've got to press 5 for a coin and 1 to put a coin to actually start the game. I'm not actually sure what I'm <laughs> I've got no idea what I'm doing here I'm assuming if you land on one of these bits with a score then that's just the points you get I can't seem to actually move this I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here Pressing fire button sort of releases the parachute, but once he once he's kind of falls out the plane, I'm assuming you've got to try and avoid helicopters, which would probably be pretty obvious. But apart from that, I'm not sure what's actually happening. Right, I'm going to have to skip that one as well. I'm afraid that is a ripcord. Right, I'm looking forward to this one because it's one of my favourite arcade games, and it's Phoenix. Looking forward to this one. ZX. Shift and return. Press fire to start. Wow. I can tell you now, this is damn good. I've really got the look of the sprites. The sprites look almost identical. If I was going to be mega critical, I would say it's possibly slightly easier than the arcade one. Which is not a bad thing because the arcade one is... Maybe he's just spoken too soon, I think. Come on. Damn you. <laughs> hey. Oh, what's happened there? What earth is that? Right, I've got no idea what that little spaceship flying along the bottom is. No idea, I don't know, is that a bug? Hey! Excellent! Don't die now, Alan. Let's do this. Right, 
Ah, last life. Might be struggling here, guys. Ah, oh, let's just bring my right back to the start. <laughs> that is an impressive game. It really, really is. Yep. That's Phoenix. Right, moving on. We've got three to go. Next one is again one of my favourite arcade games. This is Centipede. You can see the high score to discs. Don't want to do that, Richard. Uh, right, okay, this is going to be tricky because the joystick might not work up down. We'll give it a go. Trackball instructions, right? We'll give it a go with joystick, see if this works. Right, nah, the, the joystick is just jumping all over the place. Right, what I'm going to have to do is reload it. Reload the game. Right, left, right, up, down. Yeah, I'm not sure what up, down is. And you know what? He has absolutely nailed this game. I'm going to see here and now, Richard, if you happen to be watching this video, the chance of you watching this is probably pretty slim. If you are watching this, mate, you know what, and you'd like to come on and talk about these games, I would be absolutely honoured to have you on because I am so, so impressed with these. I just wish I could move up. Right, so I'm not really doing the game justice because being an, an ex C64 man, you know, I don't have to hammer the fire button. Yeah, the fact that I'm unable to move up isn't really helping. <laughs> Kill the little flea. Complete a level. Ah, damn it. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you know, apart from a slight difference in the firing sound. This is pretty damned incredible conversion. I would definitely say it's the, the most authentic home version of Centipede I've played. I'm not including obviously the sort of compilation ones that are official released. That is amazing. That is Centipede. Right, two to go guys. Next one again is one of my favourite games. And it's Scramble. Press the screen and we cut the game. Uh, now what's that? Left, right. Wait, where are we saying? Fire, return, shifts. I'm trying to figure out the, the keys here. Fire, return, shift. Press fire, right. I'm not really sure. Let's try the joystick. Right, I'm able to move and fire, but I don't know how to do the bombs. That's a pity. Now you need to be able to do the bombs because... Alright, okay. 
It's shift. So what I'm having to do here, I'm having to put my... Use one finger to press the shift while trying to move it. There's probably an easier way to do this. But can I say, apart from the colours, this is very nice. Even more impressed with the fact that I'm able to play this <laughs> hitting the fire button with my index finger whilst controlling the joystick. Come on, Alan, I need you to remember to keep pressing it, you need fuel. Again, the colours might be slightly not right but as far as the movement as far as the gameplay as far as the graphics go this is an impressive game again so as I say Richard if you're watching this video I would be absolutely honoured to talk to you about these games I think you've done an absolutely staunch job Right, the last one, guys, is Sprint. Now, it'll be this will be one of the very first arcade games I ever, ever saw. I remember playing it at the, uh, the shows in Livingston, probably, I don't know, 19... Yeah, probably about 1978, something like that. Uh, all right, wait a minute, shift gear. Right, is this going to be analog joystick? Right, I don't know how this is going to work. Five and start game. <laughs> Your car is white. Push start button. I think I've done it. Have I not? Right. Doesn't want to let me start. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just, I'm not even going to attempt to play this one. I think I'll just put it back on and we can watch the wee demo of it. What's happening there? Sprint. What I'll do is again I'll just put a little uh, a little video of this the arcade one running at the top right hand side. You can see there it's pretty damned authentic. So anyway, listen guys, that is it. That is ten of probably the most impressive conversions of these games I've seen in any home micro. They're freely available, just Google them. Um, I just did BBC Arcade Conversions, Richard Broadhurst. But again, Richard, if you're watching this, mate, and you'd like to talk to me about these games, I would be really honoured to have you on my uh, channel. As always, guys, thank you very, very much for watching.